Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I want to talk about a new storage system for Tic Tac boxes. At least it's a new storage system for me. So these are the Tic Tac boxes uh, that I use at the moment. And I uh, did a, a little video explaining uh, how I use them. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, I will put a little link up here. So pretty much standard, uh, you'll see these boxes all over the place. They hold 64 uh, Tic Tac boxes in each main box. And the reason uh, that I ended up getting two was because I did a diamond painting that had 90 colours. So I had to get another box and that actually uh, turned out to be a good idea. So I have a system that I use and as I said, um, it's in a previous video and I put the link up earlier. So this is what I'm used to using and uh, it works well for me. I know that Tic Tac boxes aren't everybody's favorite, but they definitely work for me. But I was browsing AliExpress and I saw something else. So I ordered it and uh, it took five weeks to get here. So I'm going to let you see uh, what I've got. And it came in the good old grey plastic bag. And I have already uh, cut the bag open to have a look, but I haven't actually opened it. So this is what I ordered. Um, I'll open it up so we can have a look. So, got an extra thread. Um, this is what I saw, and there was something that caught my attention, and it is inside. But when I saw it, I thought it was a, a cloth, uh, sorry, soft case. Um, it isn't soft, it's actually uh, quite tough, so quite sturdy. And open it up, what you see inside. So, this is what we have. Now, the big difference with this is the tic tac boxes have individual slots and it means there is a space between them so it makes it a lot easier to pick them up and put them back so they don't move they don't slide about the problem uh, that I have with these is the fact that they just basically squeeze in so you can see uh, that moved it's because I work on a slanted table so what happens is when I take uh, boxes out sometimes these will slide sometimes they fall over um, it can be annoying if uh, one falls in and you have to take more out to get your finger in to p pull the thing back up again um, but the main thing is uh, that these ones are all set in place so no matter how you set it uh, if it's on the slanted table or whatever, they don't move. The other thing is that this has 80 boxes. These have 64. Again, I had one that had 90. Um, I still have at least one to do that has 90. So what I will probably do is for the, the ones that have the big numbers, I'll still use these. But for the vast majority of diamond paintings, 80 uh, boxes is, should be plenty. Um, I would say that most diamond paintings seem to have between 30 and 40, maybe up to about 50, which would still leave you um, 30 extras uh, that you can use the system uh, that I showed in the previous video. So uh, I really like this. I like the fact that they don't move and you can get your fingers between them. They're very easy to lift out. So 
that's a huge improvement. I like the fact that they're in this little case, it's got a little handle, so easy to store, it just looks a bit better. Um, you also get some extras. So in the top we have a goodie bag, which is quite surprising because there's no diamond painting. But you get a green tray, a square of pink wax, a pen with a multi-placer. Um, not really sure, but always handy to have an extra uh, pen tip. If the one that you're using gets damaged, you can uh, well, you can just use the pen. But if you have a custom pen that takes these tips, um, you can use this as a spare. So you just wiggle them about, and you can pull them out. So there you go. So. It could be a spare tip if you have a custom pen that takes these types of tips. So you get that and you also get labels. So you get 50 and then 50 and then 50. So it doesn't make a lot of sense because we have 80 boxes and the highest number it goes up to is 50. Uh, I would have expected it to go up to 100. Don't know why they did that. The labels uh, look pretty big to me. Um, I've already labelled up the ones that I've been using and these labels are definitely bigger. So uh, I'm just looking and they are too wide. So the labels are actually too wide for the top. You could put them on and bend them over or you could cut them I suppose, trim them. Um, I don't really see the point so I'll probably uh, label them myself. I've got a little label machine so I'll probably just label them. Um, I won't use these. I don't know why they have a space underneath. I, I have no idea what anybody would want to use that for. So uh, not really much use to me anyway uh, for these. And then we have a bigger sheet. Okay. Um, diamond. I don't know what that is. An extra. Um, Diamond painting number stickers, so I take it these are DMC numbers. Um, I wouldn't use them personally. Uh, you have a lot more numbers than you have cases, uh, boxes, so it doesn't really work. And we have some labels down the side, A, B, C, D. And that goes up to this numbers one goes up to 39. Again, we have 80, so not really sure why we put this in. I wasn't expecting that really. Um, I thought it was just going to be the case with uh, the tic tac boxes, but I really like this um, much, much better easier to use than uh, the old boxes and you have a little pouch in the lid as well so you can keep uh, bits and pieces in here and just a really nice way to store your drills and I would only use this for the drills um, that I'm using on a, a painting I, I wouldn't use this to store drills like excess drills and that sort of thing um, I put them in small plastic resealable bags and label them up and I have them uh, in a cardboard box so they're all in numerical order. Um, it's a lot easier just to flick through them if you're looking for drills. Uh, maybe you're short in one that you're working on and uh, 
if you keep them in the bags it's a lot easier and if you get new numbers it's a lot easier just to uh, put a label on a bag and fit it in where it should go um, some people use um, like albums that have little pouches in them the problem with doing that is when you get a new number if you're keeping them in numerical order you have to move all of the pouches up one um, and I did it at the very very beginning and very quickly realised the, the, the problem with that so uh, I changed it and the bags are just in a box with dividers and they're all in numerical order so I have one box for uh, excess square drills and one box for excess round drills so this is only for drills um, that I'm actually using to work uh, on a diamond painting so that's it nice little new case for me uh, very nice it's well made I mean I was quite surprised that's very sturdy the foam is really thick um, put pen in so the foam is that thick so it sits that deep in so they're pretty snug and um, they're not going to fall over or fall out or anything like that so <clears throat> yeah I like this a lot so if uh, you're thinking about getting tic tac boxes um, it's a nice little case and as I said it holds 80 containers which should be uh, more than enough for most diamond paintings I like the fact that the individual boxes are separated so they're easy to pick out and when you push them in they're not going to go anywhere they won't slide or fall over um, looks really nice the case is actually uh, definitely better than I thought it was going to be it's uh, more of a uh, tough and plastic uh, but that sounds bad but it actually feels okay um, it's, it's also felt lined inside it's got that pouch why they gave uh, three sets of 50s um, when they have 80 containers I have no idea why they gave labels that are too wide for the tic tac boxes I have no idea and why they gave a list of DMC codes that I don't think many people realistically will use I don't know uh, the tray the pen the wax um, a little bonus I suppose the green trays uh, if you only have one tray if you're new to diamond painting and you're working from one tray having a second tray uh, is quite handy because I use a green tray to put all my reject drills so if, uh, if I pick out any drills that are bad I drop them all in this little tray and uh, once I've got a few I pour them into this little frame uh, which is called a shadow box and it is actually meant for tickets uh, it has a slot in the top where you're meant to put in uh, ticket stubs if you collect them that sort of thing um, but what I do is I pour in the drills so over time this little frame will gradually fill up I hope it takes a long time that means that I won't uh, I don't have a lot of bad drills so we'll see how that fills up uh, as time goes on so that's it uh, I like it I definitely like it it's uh, for me it works it'll definitely work and it's better than the basic boxes so that's it for today sorry about the noise in the background but uh, they have decided to dig up the street for the third time and they are now putting out curb stones at 6 45 pm i think they are going to be resurfacing the road outside very soon so this is the problem i have and um, i have to try and fit these in when it's relatively quiet wasn't expecting that to happen but this is the real world so if you enjoyed the video and you are looking to see more unboxings unbaggings comparings accessories pens mention the pens um, please subscribe and hit the notification button you want to do that 
so you will know when I have posted a new video but you will also be notified when I go live. Um, I do random uh, YouTube lives during the week and I'm always interested to talk to other diamond painters around the world about pretty much anything. Uh, it's a whip and chat. Uh, the chat isn't uh, necessarily about diamond painting, it could be pretty much about anything. So I quite enjoy doing them. Uh, at the weekends, uh, I do a live with my wife on a Saturday evening uh, between 8pm and 9pm Copenhagen time, which is Central European time. And we, uh, we have a lot of fun with the people that come in. It's definitely an upbeat thing. We will talk about diamond painting if people want to talk about it. But again, um, we talk about pretty much anything. The main thing is to have a bit of fun. And we have started doing quizzes just for fun. And we will be doing a quiz on Saturday. We were meant to do it last Saturday, but we got carried away uh, with the chat that was going on. Uh, so we ran out of time. So we've promised that we will do it this weekend. So thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care. Be safe and wash your hands.